Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about using stop points for your two-axis wire programming. Uh, real quick, I'm going to set up a, a wire job here. Um, really doesn't matter which machine. We'll set our zero. That's fine. And we'll choose OK. All right, so what we're looking at is this is the profile that we want to machine. It's an open profile. So we're going to go to uh, two axis open. We'll go ahead and select this geometry here. We'll choose next. Um, and really what we're talking about is you know, glue stops, you know, you want to leave a, a tab, you want to leave some material left over. So you have no glue stop, use glue stop with leads, use glue stop without leads. And, you know, basically what ends up happening here is, uh, uh, let's just compute it the way that it is. All right, so we get our, we get our rough cut we get our skim cut and then we get our tab cut. And um, usually what ends up happening here is the rough cut, it runs all the way through just before the tab. The skim cut, you know, we're taking another pass. And then the tab cut is coming in here and it's tabbing what's left over. But you will, you're going to see a lead out. Now, what's generally happening is at this point right here, we're having cutter comp turned off. Uh, the wire is getting cut off and, and different things like that. So, you know, uh, there's another way to attack this where you can uh, get a stop in there, uh, a MU, M00, MO1. You can get a stop in there. You can can, you know, refixture the part, throw your magnet, whatever you're going to do, and then continue cutting. So let's, let's look at that real quick. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to turn this option off. I'm going to go to no glue stop. And then as far as my machining strategy, I'm just going to do, uh, just a skim cut. So we can just look at one thing at a time. All right. All right, so we got we got our skim cut here, and you know what? Let me uh, let me uh, th let me throw a lead on here. So we'll do a lead parallel, you know, just so we have it. Uh, you know, it's starting off the part and it's finishing off the part. Now, what we want to do again is we want to put a stop point on here. So um, let's let's get on this feature here. We're gonna do point. Uh, on entity distance so we're going to do a hundred thou because if i pick this point here at the end of this line we're going to get back to there so we're going to do a hundred thou plus you know 150. all right well uh we'll click on this uh i'm sorry we don't we this lead is in the tool path <laughs> so we're going to make this 150. So this is this is the line here. That's our start point, uh, stop point. We're gonna we're gonna stop the part uh, right here, 150 off the wall, and then we'll refixture it. So, in order to define the stop point, we just select it. So we're gonna select that stop point. We'll go ahead and recompute, and then let's uh, let's post up some of this code. So let's look at some of the code here. And uh, what we're gonna see is we're cutting along. Then you can see our M0, and then you can see it finishes to the end of the cut, and uh, we're on our way. So let me remove my stop point, recompute it, and post it again. And then now we're going to see that there is no uh, M0 there. Okay, so we can use a stop point uh, quite simply. We can say, hey, this is where we want to throw a stop in there. By adding that stop point, we don't throw all the other like canceling comp and then needing lead ins and everything else. Uh, we keep it real quick and simple. So quick trip, uh, quick tip for you guys on the two axis wire cutting and using stop points uh, for your glue stop. Uh, to eliminate lead in and lead outs and cutting the wire and turning off power settings and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys.